Hi and welcome. In the previous tutorial, we covered some of the concepts of aspect-oriented programming. In this tutorial and in the next, we will implement those concepts and we'll write our own aspect-oriented programming code. This tutorial is dedicated to setting up our development environment to write AOP code. Uh, we have previously created our own Spring user library and we have added all the dependencies so that we can write code that uses the Spring framework. But in the case of aspect-oriented programming, we have to include a few other dependencies. We'll quickly have a look at that in this tutorial so that we can get the, our user libraries ready to actually start writing code. So the first thing I'll do is create a new Java project. I'll call this Spring AOP and uh, leave everything else as the defaults. So my default Java project has the JRE system library. So now let me add the Spring user library that we have uh, already created in the earlier uh, tutorial. So I click on add library, choose user library. We have Spring here. So I choose that and click finish. So now our Spring library is added. So for the uh, the concepts and the tutorials that we have covered so far, which includes the core Spring and uh, the dependency injection, this library should suffice. It has all the jars that are required. But in the case of uh, aspect-oriented programming and uh, the concepts that we are uh, covering in the subsequent tutorials, we need to have a few more dependencies covered. So in order to do that, what I'll do is I'll create a new user library. So again, to the libraries tab, say add library, user library. Now we need to create a new one. So I'll select new and then I'll say, I'll call this aspect J and press OK. So now for aspect J, I need to add the jars that are required. Uh, in the description of this uh, video, I have listed a few links so they are corresponding to the you know the jars that we need to add to aspect j so the first thing that we need to do is add um, jars of the core aspect j distribution so if you go to the link in the uh, description you will be redirected to a site that has the download for aspect j so go to the download and then once you install the jar that you download you will have a folder like this aspect j and you will have a bin doc eclipse and a lib folder so just open the lib folder here you will see aspect jrt dot jar and aspect j weaver dot jar so you select these two and then click open so these two jars are added to this library so again this is from the aspect j link in the description just head over there and click on the downloads link over there. You will be, uh, you will see a jar to download. If you double click on the jar, you will have to install it. And then once you are installing the jar, you have to select a path. And uh, these two jars will be available in that path after the installation is complete. So I'll collapse these two. So that's the first dependency. Second dependency is AOP Alliance jar. Again, if you have to go to the, you know, the link that's provided, you will uh, get the AOP Alliance website, download a jar. Here, no installation is required. You'll just get a dot jar that you've downloaded. So it should have a name like this, AOP Alliance dot jar. So you just open that. So you're adding that to the library as well. So dependency number three is CGI lib. So again, go to the link in the description for CGI lib. When you download it, you will get a jar. So this is a CGI lib version dot jar. So you add that to the class path and actually to the user library here. The fourth one is again, if you go to the link in the description for ASM, you will get, uh, you know, a zip file you extract it, you'll get this folder and inside the lib folder, you will have a ASM version dot jar. So you add this to the user library. So these are the four dependencies for aspect J, actually five jars, but four links that you'll have to go to and download. So you have, uh, let me expand this. 
So you have two jars from the aspect J distribution. This is the jar that you download and install. And you have the AOP Alliance, it's just a jar that you download. CGI lib, it's a jar that you download and ASM, which is a jar that you download. We'll have a look at what these jars are and uh, what are the roles that each one of these performs later. But uh, for now, just note that these are the jars that should be available in your class path. I recommend putting them inside a user library. I call it aspect J here, but uh, you can use your user library and have all these jars added. And uh, when you press OK, you will have that jar added to your class path in the project. So now this project, Spring AOP, is all set. We have the Spring distribution and the aspect J related dependencies. And so now we can actually start writing AOP code. So we'll do just that in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.